right what's up everyone welcome to the surfside ppc youtube channel today i'm going to be talking about how to create engagement audiences through facebook using your facebook page and your instagram page so how to reach people who have engaged with either your facebook page or your instagram page or some combination of both so we're going to get started in facebook business manager it's really easy to create a facebook business manager if you don't have one already it allows you to connect all of your ad accounts all of your pages and all of your instagram pages as well so your Facebook pages will be listed down here. And what you can do is you can come over, click on this top menu here, click on business settings. And then in your business manager, you can see this is my personal Facebook page. I have some assigned assets here. So the different pages, the different ad accounts. And then what you can do is click on Instagram accounts here as well. And just make sure you have all of your Instagram accounts connected to your Facebook business manager. It's a very simple process to get started. And then all you want to do is open up one of your ad accounts. So if you just have one ad account, you just want to open up that ads manager account. And we have ours open here. So it's going to show all the campaigns that you've ran in the past. But what you want to do is you want to click on the menu again and you want to come to all tools and under assets, you want to go to audiences. So I've opened up that page here and this is what that page will look like. So what you want to do to get started is click on create audience here and you can do custom audience. So under custom audience, you're going to see use Facebook sources. So it's going to say Instagram business profile. If I click on this, it's going to say include people who meet any of the following criteria. You can select your Instagram page right here. So I'm going to select one for farmhouse goals and you can see some of the different options. So everyone who engaged with your business. And then if you click on the drop down, you're going to see anyone who visited your business profile, people who engage with any post or ad people who sent a message to your business profile, or people who saved any post or ad. So some popular ones are everyone who engaged with your business, anyone who visited your business profile, and people who engage with any post or ad. So if you're running advertisements, for example, and you click on this, people who engage with any post or advertisement in the past 365 days. So it's really that simple to get started with creating an Instagram business profile custom audience. So I'm going to create a couple here just to make it pretty easy to understand for you. And what we can do is we'll just do everyone who engaged with our business in the past 365 days. So anyone who has engaged with farmhouse goals definitely has an interest in farmhouse home decor or home decor in general. So we're just going to name this audience. And what we'll do is, okay, so it's an Instagram engagement audience for the past 365 days. Anyone who has engaged with my farmhouse goals Instagram page. And now we can click on create audience. Okay, so we created the audience. One thing you can do is create lookalike audiences as well off of these different audiences. Uh, so just another example you can use. If you click on create an ad using the audience, you can create an advertising campaign just using the audience you just created. But we're going to click on done for now. Create a few more audiences so I can show you some more things that you can do. So it's going to be populating right now. So the size is going to show below 1000 until it actually populates. The next thing we're going to do is click on create audience again. We're going to do custom audience. And the other option you have is Facebook page here. Obviously, there's a lot of other options here as well. You can check out our Facebook ads targeting video if you're looking for more detail about every type of Facebook source you can use. But we're going to use Facebook page here and it's going to show page. It has Surfside PPC. We're going to use farmhouse goals. So we can do everyone who engaged with our page in the last 365 days, and then some different options, anyone who visited your page, anyone who engaged with any post or ad, people who clicked any call to action button, people who sent a message, people who saved your page or any post. So we'll just do everyone who engaged with our page in the last 365 days, name the audience, we'll do the same exact thing. And what we can do is click on create audience here. So now we have our new custom audience created. So there's two audiences in Instagram engagement and Facebook engagement, both custom audiences, and they're just going to be considered page engagement or Instagram engagement audiences. So the next thing you can do is if we click on create audience here again, the other option that you have is if you go into create a saved audience, I'm going to show you a few different options here. So let's just name the audience. We'll just do engagement example. But one thing that you can do is if you don't set any targeting here, we just scroll down a little bit and we come in here to connections. You can see add a connection type. So one thing that we can do is do Facebook pages and do people who like your page. So if we click on that and do people who like our page and just do farmhouse goals. So we can just create an audience of people who have liked our page here and just click on create audience. And it's really that simple. And you don't have to use any other targeting here. 
If you do have a large audience, maybe you want to narrow it by location, age, gender, languages, you can add some detail targeting there as well. Otherwise, you could just target every single person that likes your Facebook page. So that's another option when you're creating some engagement audiences through Facebook, people who actually like your page. So at this time, I don't believe you can create this for Instagram pages. If that's not true, please leave a comment in the comment section. Um, I'd love to know more about that, but I don't think that you can. Because when you click on the drop down here, they have Facebook pages, apps, and events. And then they have some advanced combinations, but none of them include your Facebook page. Now you can also exclude people who like your page or target friends of people who like your page. So some different options when it comes to creating engagement audiences, you can do the same with apps as well. Um, but what we're gonna do is get rid of this targeting for right now so we have no connection type here. So the other thing you can do with engagement example is under custom audiences here we can click and we can target this Facebook engagement audience right here and we can also target our Instagram engagement audience. So you're creating a saved audience and you can just see engagement example here where we're targeting anyone who has engaged with our Facebook page or our Instagram page. So it's really that simple and then what you can do is just click on save audience. You can narrow it by other options here as well but I'm just gonna do create audience here and now we have our engagement example. So then all you would need to do to target this actual audience in one of your advertising campaigns is go back to ads manager. So you can click on the menu here and just click on ads manager, or we'll just click on at the top here. We have it open right now and click on create. So you can use any marketing objective here. So we'll just say, for example, we want to target for conversions and we'll just click on continue. Usually I'll use campaign budget optimization here, but I'll just click on continue for right now. We'll do conversions. Um, so you want to set your conversion here, you have your ad set name, um, but as we scroll down here under audience, you can see create new audience or use a saved audience. So we're just going to use a saved audience, we can just click on this engagement example. So that's going to target anyone who has engaged with our Instagram page or our Facebook page in the last 365 days. So it's another form of retargeting, it's a little bit different than website retargeting but just some different ways that you can target people who have shown some level of interest in your business already using social media, specifically your Instagram page and your Facebook page. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. There's some different audiences that you can create through Instagram, through Facebook. Um, you can create an Instagram audience at this time that I know of for people that are following you. Um, you can do it with Facebook using the connections tab, but I don't believe that you can do it with Instagram at this time. Again, if I'm wrong, please leave a comment. I'd love to know more about it. Thanks again for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.